So I'm making some more dokra cakes and this is a different recipe. I mean you can put whatever, there's many different options here. Um, so what I've done this time is I've used the black eyed peas that I was soaking and they've sprouted and um, that's some yam. I used three of those small organic yams um, and I don't know how much black eyed peas that would be. Probably, I'm going to say three cups. And then um, quite a lot of the sprouted teff that I don't know if you can see that it's sprouted from the camera. Probably not. It's very small. I can see it with my eye, but the camera's not that great. Um, in fact, your phone camera is probably better than my camera. But whatever. This is what I have. So, And I'm very grateful for it. So anyway, the sprouted teff worked out terrifically, and um, which I'm pretty sure is not a word. Let's see, uh, what would that be? Maybe a cup and a half of the sprouted teff. So I'm using that in place of rice. Uh, I would normally use rice here, right? Um, but I'm trying something different. I would rather make the cakes out of sprouted teff. I, um, I think it would be healthier, at least to mix things up a little bit, right? So I'm trying this out. We'll see how it works. It might not. Um, there's ashwain. I can't remember how much I put there. Probably, it looks like about a half a teaspoon or something. I don't measure things, so it's kind of hard for me to tell sometimes. I just use my hand and go with it. Um, and it looks like quite a lot of turmeric there. I don't know exactly what I was thinking. Maybe a little bit too much. Um, looks like about a tablespoon. Maybe a bit less than that. And um, mustard, I used to, maybe a little too much of that too. And um, sea salt. Um, I would say I put about a teaspoon in there. And cumin, maybe not enough for my taste. I really like the stuff. And uh, then ancho chili powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this up and then add a little bit of uh, Brita water if I have to thin it down a bit. And then put my baking uh, soda in last. And uh, then pour it into my muffin tins and sprinkle it with some uh, chopped up bell pepper that I have here and a little bit of ancho chili powder just to let James know that it's in there. Now, what I'm making here is a lentils with panch varan recipe, which I am using black eyed peas for instead. And I put quite a lot of the peas in there. Again, maybe about three cups. And I put quite a lot of tomatoes in there. So, oh, maybe about the same amount. And then I've put a, it works out to about a teaspoon of each. Like this is Pant Ferran here. And most people are looking at this who know anything about it and going, oh, too much. It's going to be too flavorful. I don't think so. I really like the stuff. So, um, Pant Ferran is uh, mustard and cumin and kalonji and fennel and fenugreek seeds. That's it. So you put the equal amounts of each one of those. Now I ground these up in the, um, what do you call that? Coffee grinder. Um, so that they wouldn't be big and chewy. Uh, and the other ones were, like my cumin was already ground and the mustard I just took out of a, a bottle. Um, it's a it's a brand that I like and I go with it. Um, now, well, they're upset about something. Probably the wind because it's very windy today. Um, I can't imagine James would be here because it's only eight in the morning. But anyway, there's turmeric and there's quite a bit of that too. I put about a teaspoon, so I might be regretting that because I'm not a huge fan of turmeric. But. It is good for a person, so why not? And I will have to put the escotita in because I forgot it. But that's it. And then I'll cook this down and it'll be great.